So I already did a video earlier in this year on top 10 sneakers or sneaker technologies that I wanna try out in 2021. And since I did that video, there's been a lot of new ones that are entering the market soon or have already landed. So in this video, I wanna cover another top 10. So let's go ahead and jump in. What is going on guys, Hess here. Hopefully you guys are having a great day out there. If you guys are new to my channel and you like the content, hit the subscribe button. And if you guys haven't shopped on my site yet, basically I just post a bunch of sneaker deals on Twitter and then repost them over to Collective Kicks in the description of the video. And you can always just go over there and see what the collection of the, the deals are that I post. If you guys wanna buy any of these sneakers that I'm gonna be talking about in this video, check the link in the description and I will be putting them down there as well with more information as to where to purchase them. So let's not wait any further. Let's jump into the number 10 spot. So there is a new Under Armour pair of sneakers out there called the UA Flow Velocity Wind Running Shoe that looks crazy. It's $160 retail has flow technology, it looks like, as it says on the side of the shoe. It says it has a one-piece flow midsole that provides responsive and long-lasting cushioning. So it looks like a cool, like, responsive running sneaker that I would want to try out. And so it's one of those shoes that, you know, maybe I'll end up buying for a review for this channel. And as I'm doing this video, if there's any standout shoes to you guys out there that you guys either know is really good and you know my preference, I like the soft, squishy stuff most of the time. Um, if, you, if you know it's going to be a good hit, hit me up, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know it. Like, hey, you got to definitely try these ones and then I'll buy them and then do a review for you guys on the channel. But this one caught my eye. The uh, Flow technology, it says Flow on the side. Curry 8s, I think, have that or whatever whatever the latest Curry model has also. But this is uh, looks like the flagship runner, possibly from Under Armour, and um, something I haven't tried. I did have the Hover technology back in the day, and it was actually pretty good as well. It kind of reminded me of like a, a Lunar Lawn technology because it was like encased and stuff. But, um, but yeah, I definitely want to try out the new tech and number 10 spot. So the number eight spot that I want to try is a pair of Mizunos. Now I have tried a couple pairs here and there uh, that I have liked some and then not liked the other ones. This one is specifically the Wave Sky 4 Wave Knit. It has the Mizuno Energy. I thought it was Energy, but there's a Z back there that snuck its way in there. So there's that technology behind it, which if you've seen the review I did on the Mizuno Red Pair with that has like the crazy big ball looking energy balls all over the place. They're terrible looking shoes. $300 retail on those ones actually, which is nuts. I can't believe, I still have them. I can't believe I spend that much money on those things. But uh, that technology was actually pretty comfortable. It's pretty squishy, felt good on feet. And so I figured if I could try that technology in a regular looking shoe, maybe it would actually be like really surprising to myself and something that I would actually enjoy. So anyway, that one's on my list because I definitely am interested in it. It sounds like that one is a very max cushiony type sneaker, which is something that I definitely like to chase. You guys know I'm chasing that ultra boost high from the very first time I tried on a pair of Adidas Ultra Boost uh, sneakers. Um, and sidebar, I heard they're coming back with another Pure Boost, which is super rad because I have the original Pure Boost uh, and the Pure Boost is just uh, was the one, the predecessor before the Ultra Boost. There, there was the energy as well, but the Pure Boost is the lifestyle one that everybody just loved. Then the Ultra Boost came out and jumped on that one. But anyway, uh, that was definitely a, a sidebar. So anyway, moving on, the number eight spot, the Clifton 8, the Hoka Clifton 8. This is a shoe that I anticipate because I have been a fan of the Clifton since the seven, which is not very long ago. So, you know, I waited out the sixes. A lot of people told me you, you got to try the Clifton's and I didn't buy them because I knew a seven was coming and then I waited and then COVID hit and the release was delayed. I finally got the sevens, reviewed them. You guys were absolutely right. It's an amazingly comfortable shoe, very soft, squishy, lightweight. It, it's just an all around good experience on your feet. In fact, one that I recommend when people ask me for a good budget friendly shoe, cause they're like 120, 130 bucks or something like that. But now they have the Clifton 8 coming out as well. I don't know the differences between them. I don't know if it's gonna be the exact same midsole, similar to like the New Balance 1080 V10 to the V11, which is a, an incredible shoe for those that didn't know. I've done a lot of videos on that shoe, but hopefully it's the same midsole or close to because it really is uh, quite good on feet. But also it's really wide foot friendly. So something like myself, I like the fact that they have like wide and extra wide versions of the shoe. And uh, all in all, I can't say anything bad about the shoe other than I don't like the look of the sevens. And I don't know, the eights look okay as well. They're not the most eye-catching, like glorious, awesome looking shoes, but I'm also kind of an extremist. I do like the Ultra Boost 21 look a lot because it's really weird and aggressive looking. I don't know, I like that on sneakers. Um, but so this one looks like a dad shoe, the Hoka a Clifton 8. But 
you know, I'm a dad and so I can maybe pull it off. Anyway, looking forward to the eights whenever they drop. I think coming up in June. Next on the list, number seven spot goes to the OnCloud, I think it's called, the Cloud Ultra. So interesting name, Cloud Ultra. They have this different technology that I'm not as familiar with. I do know it's a company you guys have mentioned many, many times and I apologize for not buying the shoes because it's just one of those ones where I'm like, oh man, I know I worked in Portland and I know there was an office for these guys in Portland. I should have just walked in and see if they would have sent me a pair of them or something. But uh, but uh, part of me is like, oh man, maybe that'll, that'll happen. But back in the day, I went to like Goodwill and stuff. I saw a bunch of their samples and stuff in Goodwill. And I was like, this is such a weird company. I didn't know what it was, but apparently they're actually really good runners. And this one specifically says it's ultra cushioned, ultra comfortable and ultra versatile for trail which means this is a trail running shoe, but it doesn't look like a trail running shoe. It looks pretty good. And I do like trail running shoes in general. So if you can have something that has the stability and cushioning, that's why I'm wondering. I'm like, how can it be ultra comfortable and squishy and have the stability there? Adidas done it with the Terex Free Hikers because those are amazingly stable and squishy as well. So I'll definitely be comparing it to like the Terex Free Hiker style of comfort uh, whenever I get that pair. But that's definitely uh, another one that is on my list something that I want to try this year. So number six spot, you know, as I'm trying to search different brands and different sneakers and technologies, I go back to Asics and I wanna give the, the gel Kayano 28 uh, a try. When I did their little like matchmaking thing in the website, it says that this is the max cushion shoe. When you look at it, it just doesn't look like a comfortable, like when you look at the shoe, it doesn't look like it's a comfortable, squishy, like max cushion shoe. But if that's what Asics is saying is their max cushion shoe, then Gosh darn it, I'm gonna try it out. Uh, if you guys have suggestions for other ASIC shoes that are max cushion, leave a comment in the comment section. I also have tried like the Glide Ride or whatever that one was, and then the, the Nova Blast as well. Nova Blast was pretty decent. Uh, it's not the my favorite, and I didn't wanna get the Nova Blast 2 uh, as of now, I, unless there's some crazy differences from the first one. It's not a bad shoe, but it's just not a great shoe in my opinion. It was very run of the mill. So I figured the, the Keanu one would be a little bit more cushioned and I would give it a go. But if you guys have a, a suggestion on uh, the ASIC side of things, leave a comment, let me know. So the number five spot, it's not a new technology, but it's a shoe that I absolutely want to check out. It is the Adidas Jet Boost. I know, right? Never heard of it, me either. Like I saw some pictures of it and I was like, Dude, this thing looks amazing. It looks like a really crazy aggressive looking pair of Ultra Boost like esque sort of sneakers. I don't know if it's like a lower tiered product or a higher tier product yet, um, or in the middle of the road that that like maybe 150 price. But it looks cool, and I like the the overall look of the shoe. Uh, and so I would definitely want to find out more about the shoe. Not much to be said about it other than that. It looks pretty cool and I need to find out more. And I want to find out more whenever details are out. So hopefully when we find out more, I will uh, report back and hopefully I'll have a video on the product when it ends up releasing. All right, so the number four spot goes to a pair of sneakers from New Balance, which is actually a pair that I am getting uh, pretty soon and one that I'm excited to try out. And so that is the, the Fuel Cell RC Elite. So New Balance Fuel Cell, I've actually tried out in a different model and it was super squishy. I was like confused on how incredibly soft and squishy the Fuel Cell was because the same thing could be said about their Fresh Foam X technology. Both are crazy soft, squishy, and pretty ultra lightweight for both of them. So I'm like, man, it's like almost the same thing, but different. I definitely need to do like a head to head with the New Balance 1080V 11 and then this uh, fuel cell uh, joint right here, the, the RC1 Elite and see like what I think in the, the squishiness of both of them and stability and feel and weight and everything. So expect a review comparison between the two products after I get the shoe, but it's definitely one I wanna try out because I tried a, a knockdown a version. I think the, the pair that I tried, the Rebel, I don't even remember the name of the model. It was like $120 retail. This one's like 220 or so uh, at retail. So it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, and so I figured, you know, it's gonna, either going to be totally wrong product for me because it's too performance driven, or it's going to be just that right match of like performance and soft squishy I uh, love that that uh, that I want to put on my feet. So expecting uh, to get those soon and then check back, subscribe if you guys want to see a review video on those from a casual perspective, of course. And moving on, the number two spot, the countdown goes to a shoe that you guys have pointed out to me numerous times as ones that I should be trying. I've seen a lot of tags on Instagram and Twitter. Shout out to all you guys that have done that because you guys rock, I appreciate it. Keep me in the know. But uh, I did see this one actually as well. It's the Brooks Aurora BL and it looks insane. Like it looks like it has the most interesting midsole ever. It says it has a mono mesh upper and a lightweight airy sensation uh, and soft and responsive stride in the nitrogen injected DNA loft 
V3 midsole. So it's like they keep on taking the DNA midsole and then DNA loft and then DNA like light or whatever. I mean, they have like a thousand different DNA versions of the midsole, but I love the fact that they're taking it and then making it better and then making it better or different. You know, they're, they're morphing it and not just having one product and going, this is what we've made and this is what we have to, to go with. It feels like they're really trying to evolve the product, which is a really smart thing to do. So I did a review on one of the Brooks shoes last year that was super lightweight that I was like blown away by how light it was. Uh, so I feel like these are going to be really light and nitrogen infused. I think that that sounds like kind of the Skechers go run whatever pair that was that I reviewed a couple years ago as well where they they had a little itty bitty midsole and they like blew it up and it, it's like basically they, they like pressure cook it and it gets this big and it was crazy soft and squishy as well it kind of has that same cellular look to the product as what those Skechers had um, which is actually another one that should be on this list to be fair there's some new versions of the Skechers shoes out there uh, that I know some of you guys are like what is Hess even talking about there's legit running shoes that Skechers makes that have lots of soft, squishy feel to them that are embarrassing to wear, but they really are comfortable. And I have, I still have the other pair uh, lying around here somewhere, but definitely something to consider. So maybe that would be a, a runner up uh, on the list. Anyways, if you guys enjoy the video and you guys wanna see more videos like this or any other suggestions for top five, top 10 videos, sneaker related, drop a comment in the comment section of which ones you guys would like to see. And then if you guys see a comment, that you like, then like that comment. And then, you know, if it gets a bunch of likes, I'll see it more and then I'll consider doing those in the future because I want to try to do more top five, top 10 videos. Anyways, the number one spot on this countdown goes to the Adidas 4D Forwards or FWDs. These things look crazy, man. And somebody that's been a fan of the Adidas 4D technology, uh, I'm a critical fan for sure because I love the concept, love what it's trying to do, but I want it to get better. I think this could be an example of a nice evolutionary step forward as well for Adidas 4D technology because the previous 4D technology, I mean, it's not as comfortable as Boost. I mean, I've said that a million times. It's cool looking technology, but overall comfort is just not there. They need a softer, squishier version. And it sounds like this is gonna be a softer version of that 4D technology. I do need to get a pair of these in hand because I missed out when they released, but it's one that I definitely am highly anticipating because if it is the right formula, it does have a cool look and it's something that they could definitely integrate into other products, especially lifestyle, to really make that uh, shoe just a unique uh, look and feel. Anyway, super fanboy, and I've already mentioned that I wanna see an evolution of the 4D technology and I've been waiting and waiting and all of a sudden I heard this was coming. I was like, no way. I totally got to get these and check them out. So that's my number one spot. If you guys have any other suggestions for shoes that you guys think that I should check out that will be coming out tech related or not, uh, feel free to hit me up on Twitter or just leave a comment. Usually Instagram DMs don't work because I just never, I never reply to them. I'm so bad about that. I apologize for anybody that's, that I've left hanging out there and never replied back. I just, I'm so bad. One thing has to fall out. I'm so busy that like something has to fall off. It's always the Instagram DMs and even replying to comments, visual comments that everybody can see. I, I never even get to those to reply back to them. Terrible social media guy. But anyway, if you guys want to buy any of these shoes, a future thought, check the link in the description because they will be down there. And thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Hopefully, again, you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. And have a good rest of the day. More videos to come. Peace, guys.